Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about what is new in this update because there's actually quite a lot of stuff to cover. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to go over are, of course, the bugs. So there are some confirmed issues with some bugs at the moment. So, for example, if you are wearing any of these outerwears over here, such as the end mod coat, as well as the end off shoulder, there are some uh, clipping issues and some graphical errors over here. And on top of that, there are more clipping issues with certain base wear with color variants, such as the Duskwake Regalia, as well as the Holy Phantasm, the combat jacket, as well as the Vinto over here. So if you are having any graphical issues with these outfits, just understand that Sega knows that this exists and they are currently working on it and they're hopefully it'll be fixed relatively soon but with that out of the way the next thing i want to talk about are of course the freebies so when we go to get campaign items over here you can see right here that we did get the fantasy star remix login gift number four so again this gives us build parts as well as a music cd so make sure to pick that up and more importantly we get the gear up your class special campaign part three so i covered this in yesterday's video where you do get an end master cube for free which is really nice however what they didn't talk about on the way website was actually the new limited time tasks over here so as we can see over here there are all of the different class level ups so you know the braver the bouncer the waker as well as the slayer but what they don't tell you is after you complete all four of these tasks you get rewarded a lot of stuff over here first of all you get one end master cube so that's quite a big deal but on top of that you get a hundred and twenty star gems so it says 30 star gems over here so you might be like well that's only 30 but it's times four so it's 120 star gems and then you get four beta reactors one beta reactor is a hundred thousand masetta so this is four hundred thousand masetta right here so you are incredibly heavily incentivized to complete all of these tasks over here because all of these tasks are actually incredibly easy to do all you need to do is get to level 60 on all four classes and boom instantly 120 star gems 400 000 masetta as well as an end master cube so just do it it's so so free now on top of that campaign they've also updated the event shop so when we go to exchange seasonal points over here you may have noticed that you can purchase another 40 halloween 2023 special scratch tickets which is freaking awesome but there's also build parts over here there's this monitoring drone accessory which is pretty cute there's the motion dash chopper which is a uh, pretty troll in my personal opinion but you know whatever there's a new vital gauge sangam mountain road so i mean it looks okay i suppose so you can definitely pick it up why not you know it only costs like 15,000 seasonal points and then on top of that we get a hundred star gems four special scratch tickets remember these are regular special scratch tickets but if we scroll down a little bit further you're going to notice they restocked all of the photon scales the blizzardium the infernium as well as added a n master cube so yes you can purchase another n master cube over here for a hundred thousand seasonal points um now you are limited to one unfortunately but nevertheless i am very surprised that they added this in now on top of that they've also restocked all of your defi capsules so if you are planning to do the dual quest phase three you can actually purchase four 40 of all of the Debbie capsules from the event shop. Just do keep in mind that they are relatively expensive, especially if you're looking for the Plutos as well as the Makames. These cost 50,000 each, so if you were to purchase all of them, you know, you're looking at like 2 million seasonal points or something. So it does add up to quite a bit. But other than the Defi capsules, they've also restocked Mastery 4 as well as the Gigastat 4s. But more importantly is the Alpha reactors over here. You can purchase another 250 Alpha reactors for 900 seasonal points each. So I'll we'll make sure to buy that. I'm actually going to buy all of those items that I just talked about and wha-bam. So if we look at our alpha reactors and we sell all 250 of them, that is another 875,000 Masetta, so we better pick that up. All right, with all that out of the way, the next thing I wanna talk about is the remix line. If you guys remember from two videos ago, I did not recommend people to scratch on this because all of these outfits were actually available in an SG scratch, and this is an AC scratch, so this does require you to spend real money. However, what Sega did in order to encourage people to actually spend their money on this scratch was the scratch count bonuses. As you can see, you can actually get the fluffy Afro from 10 scratches, you can get the Mohawk at 25 scratches, scratches you can get a hell finale s and 35 scratches rappy sneakers at 70 scratches as well as a gladius soul s at 75 scratches so they have added some high value items in the scratch count bonus to encourage you to scratch in order to uh, obtain them so the good thing is at least these are guaranteed you just need to scratch x amount of times to guarantee the set item so for example the rappy sneakers you know a lot of people wanted the rappy sneakers well you can guarantee yourself to get a pair if 
if you scratch 70 times it is a lot of money but uh, at the very least you're not gambling over here um, personally, I still don't really know how I feel about this. I'm not going to be spending any money on it. But if you did want any of these items, well, at least this is a way to get them. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the campaign boost for combat zones. So when we look at Noose and Plant over here and go to boost effect details, you'll see that now we have a 300% EXP earned. This is from an existing campaign that is going on right now, the Get Big and Strong campaign. So 300% EXP, which is really nice. But more importantly is the item additional drop rate of Arms Refiners as well as Arms Refiners 2. Too. So this item additional drop campaign is really, really noticeable in Nuisance Plant. Literally every elite I killed, I was getting Arms Refiners or Arms Refiners 2, which was actually pretty insane. So I did farm here for about 10 to 20 minutes and I managed to get four Arms Refiners 2 within that time. I was very surprised on how often they dropped. However, for those who don't know, Rezzel Forest, Vanford Laboratories, as well as Mount Magnus also have the same buffs. So I want to go to the boost effects over here and we go all the way to rank 4 on Rezzel Forest, you can also see we get the EXP plus 300%, as well as the item additional drop, Arms Refiners, as well as Arms Refiners 2. And when we go to Vanford Laboratories over here, and we go all the way to rank 5, it's exactly the same. However, I have not had as much luck farming in the Alio Combat Zones versus farming in Nusim Plant. Nusim Plant seems to drop Arms Refiners 2 more often than the Alio Combat Zones, but this is just from my personal experience. Let me know in the comment section below if you've had better luck with the Arms refiners farming in the alio combat zones and last but not least is of course ritem al noth we now have rank 5 where all the mobs are level 80 as you can see over here the feature drops are going to be the tisha weapon so all of the different tisha weapons can drop in ritem al noth the red sovereigns as well as golden prim source 2 and golden prim armors 2 however something that they didn't show in the feature drop list over here is actually the defi capsules you can get the defi capsule from the special rappies or the big chungus when you defeat them they do drop defi capsules on top of that they start Starless enemies also drop class EX cubes as well as arms refiners 1 and 2. So if you just want to farm in Ritem Al Noth because you want your seasonal points and you want Tisha weapons, EXP, all of that stuff, you can farm here safely and you will still get arms refiners too. You do not need to go to Nuisance Plant if you need arms refiners, if you want arms refiners. You can farm in any of the Ritem combat zones, any of the Alio combat zones, or of course the Stia combat zones. The only place where arms refiners do not drop are going to be Kavaris. So in Lost Central as well as Beluga Runes, you you cannot get arms refiners in these two regions. So my game plan this week is relatively simple. I'm going to be farming in Ritem Al Noth for the majority of the time. However, I will also be going to Makith lower level simply because I do need the title where you slay 300,000 enemies in Makith lower level because by doing that, you will have a total of five end master cubes, which you earned and you don't need to spend 5 million meseta on the treasure shop simply because first of all, we get one end master cube over here for earning seasonal points. So that's a million seasonal points right here. We get another end master cube over here from the limited time quest when you completed all of the braver bouncer waker as well as slayer level up titles so that gives you two you get another one for simply just logging in so just log in anytime this week and you get another end master cube for free the fourth master cube is achieved by this title over here huntsman of mckee lower level as we can see slay 30,000 enemies and you do get the end master cube so it's not 300,000 enemies it's 30,000 so definitely a lot more achievable um, but you do have to go to rank five or above in mckee lower level Level, so you can't just cheese it and go to like the lowest rank one it does have to be in rank five or above and the fifth master cube that we're gonna get is actually from huntsman of ritem al noth 8 over here where we slay 30,000 enemies in ritem al noth and boom you have your five end master cubes and then you can finally use them to get your add-on skills tune in for tomorrow's video as i show off on what add-on skills i would recommend and which one i'm going to be using as well as showcasing how the sub skills work because when you do roll on this we don't know what sub skills we get and i'll showcase the entire process in tomorrow's video special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me thank you again but yeah that's all i wanted to cover in today's video hopefully you guys found it helpful if you did i would appreciate a like and a subscribe and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video bye